think that the master list for naming Heartthrob when it was still untitled was nearly a hundred different names. Finally, you and I, we had a fight actually because you had sort of finally got to a point where it felt like you were just like, let's just pick this one and it really wasn't resonating with me. So, so we went through this list of like a hundred names and we picked like the five we were loving the most and I emailed them to you and you emailed me right back and you said, Heartthrob, I like that one, I never saw that one. And then you and I started brainstorming on like sort of how that, that title fit the record conceptually. The title of this record would be almost the opposite of, of sainthood. I wanted something, I didn't want a passive title. I didn't want something that was made us sort of seem martyred. I wanted something that was very confident mm -hmm. because we were feeling so confident about the album that we had made. Heartthrob really fit for me because I loved the concept of like that, I idolize the people that I date. I truly put them up on a pedestal and so it, it really resonated with me for that reason. One image that I really love and is, um, I think, you know, is gonna obviously come to um, be associated with this record is the is the images of the of the wall and the deterioration of the posters that that are now on the cover of the album and this idea that you know like what was once like an, a really strong obsession or fixation wears away over it time. wears away over time I love the idea that you know that we make these albums and that they feel so in the moment and modern and vibrant and relevant and then like in two years you feel it sort of like slip away and... and well, not you know. to get really super deep on you, but using that same concept, isn't that really what we write about? I mean, we're writing about our history, we're writing about past relationships, that's what this record is, and in a strange way, our version of what happened is a very worn down, stripped down, like, you know, weathered version of the truth. Yeah. I'm very interested in the idea of, uh, of pro like projected love and obsession and the title really did fit when I saw it on paper. I really thought that it was, it was, um, I don't know, it just, it just felt right. Thank God, because Jesus, I was ready to strangle you.